Hey golfers and welcome back to another episode of Second Swing Thoughts here in the studio here in Eden Prairie, Minnesota and I'm joined by Matthew LaPenta. Um, Matt, first of all, I'm just going to let you introduce yourself, your background, um, how you you know, join Second Swing, a little bit about where you came from, and then uh, now what your current role is, because today we're talking about the store experience at Second Swing. Yeah, sure. Uh, Matt LaPenta, I originated out at our Wilmington location in 2018. I think the store was open for three to four months prior to me joining on. Um, joined on as a part-time gig I, uh, from a sales standpoint. Um, spent about two to three months with the company, and I kind of really enjoyed the vision, uh, the service side of it, and um, kind of snowballed from there, I guess. We uh, spent two years out there working with the sales team and um, ended up out here in Eden Prairie working for our, our project team. And uh, now I get to do a lot of fun things, um, work on new store locations, uh, any projects that the company has uh, from a technology standpoint, uh, from an infrastructure standpoint, and uh, get to sit with you. Did you ever envision taking up residence in Minnesota? No. And enduring a cold Minnesota winter? No, it was funny. I, you know, being from, from Philly, it never really got, we talked about this earlier today, you know, cold out there is what, 20, 25 degrees? Yeah. So now it's like, uh, if the temperature's anywhere around zero, I'm feeling all right. So yeah, yeah it's a, it was a culture shock year one, but we're coming around to it. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I, there's always, you know, a few visitors here and there that come up from the stores south, you know, during the winter and um, it's a little different, it's a little different. I mean, it's <laughs> it's fine in the summer. It's actually really oh, yeah. nice here, right? Um, summer, spring, it's, it's okay, it's, but um, yeah, you better be ready for the winter. So the last couple of years for the listeners or viewers or that aren't aware, um, Second Swing has expanded to, well, sort of a new Scottsdale location, um, greatly expanding that store mm -hmm. from, you know, I don't, I don't even know what the square footage was of the original one, but I now, I know the, the current one is 30,000 plus square feet and you got about 15,000 clubs in there more or less. And you got, you know, all these different amenities. And then also the new Dallas store that opened early this year, um, kind of a similar in terms of size and uh, the features in there. So just uh, kind of about your, you know, your role in sort of building out what uh, is the feel, the, the branding in there. I mean, what the experience that customers are going to see when they walk in there. Cause I think that's the first thing that the feedback from all the stores is when the customer walks in, there's kind of that wow factor of what the new, the stores look like these new ones down in, in well, in, in Arizona and in Texas. Yeah, I think, um we really hit a, a home run with the Scottsdale build out. Um, I was on the tail end of that build out. Um, you know, it was, it was a new thing for us, right? Uh, at that point, our, our biggest location was the Columbia store uh, in Maryland, and that did not surpass 20,000 square feet. We jumped into the Scottsdale store that all of a sudden it was 32,000 square feet. So, you know, for us, it was, you know, what are we doing there, mm -hmm. right? You know, we, we've never had that type of playground to kind of set up and uh, kind of put our brand and our stamp on that. So it really challenged us as a company to kind of fill the space with, with things that golfers are gonna want. You know, we don't have 100 store locations. So, you know, the stores that we have, we wanna really make an impact on a golfer when they walk in. So it really gave us an opportunity to expand upon experiences like our putting green, um, really enhanced our tour van from a fitting standpoint, a lot more bays. Um, and then obviously we have the ping room in Scottsdale, which is yeah. really re unique and really happy with that partnership with ping and allowing us to, to create that space with them uh, to do ping fittings in that location, some of their uh, soft goods and hard goods. It's a really kind of cool and different from something we've done in the past. Um, so Scottsdale was kind of that new blueprint that uh, we use to create Dallas. Now Dallas for us is a little bit smaller, it's 25,000 square feet, um, but really incorporating a lot of what we did in Scottsdale into Dallas on a slightly smaller uh, scale. And then continuing to concentrate on those experiential pieces. And we added the personalization studio in mm -hmm. Dallas, which is a really cool touch. Uh, you go in, you can get you know ball marker stamping, wedge stamping, 
uh, personalized golf balls, which if you go anywhere for personalized golf balls, you're looking at a couple week turnaround. We can do it that day. Um, and then obviously with our, our leather printing, embroidery, it's just a really cool addition to that store where, you know, if I'm a casual golfer and I walk in, that's the last thing I'm expecting. You know, uh, you go into a lot of big box locations, it's golf clubs. Mm -hmm. Potentially you can hit some clubs and, and kind of call it a day from there. This is, this is we really want to hit on the experience side when you walk into a second swing golf. Um, because it's more than clubs, right? You know, we want yeah. we want people to come in and go, man, I can bring my family there. Um, we can spend some time there, go on the putting green, play with putt view and, and mm -hmm. the technology that we have in there. So I think going forward, that's really kind of what our target is. It's, is how do we create great experiences for golfers that come in? We're always going to be um, obviously there to help fitting or used clubs, purchasing golf equipment, but how do we separate ourselves? And I, th I think that's really what we're focusing on now mm -hmm. is, is how do we get our stores to become a destination and not just a retail store? Right. And it's actually, it's, it's actually funny. I've been talking to fitters, how much of a destination it actually is for some of these people that drive hours and hours. They make it a whole day thing. They drive, you know, four or five hours or more, they get their fitting for an hour or two, and then they drive home. I mean, it, it blew my mind. I mean, when I was in Wilmington at the, the Wilmington, Delaware location, we had folks drive two plus hours from New York, mm -hmm. New Jersey, Maryland, uh, North Pennsylvania. And, you know, for us, we were a very young location. I think we were only there for, you know, I got there when the store was three months old and I was there for the first two years of it. And it's amazing, A, how word got out quickly about our service because you know, you walk into Second Swing Wilmington, um, we have some really cool features in there, Trackman Bays, but we don't have that 2,000 square foot putting green. Yeah. You know, we don't have the personalization studio, but what we do have is incredible customer service. And in my opinion, I think we have the best fitters in the business. So uh, when you add that together, people are gonna come see it. And you know, that stood out to me a lot when I was out there. Now, you go to Scottsdale and Dallas, you combine the customer service side, um, the passion, and then you throw in that that real that was really cool elements that you know people can go in and spend a lot of time hanging out. It's a place to go, man. It's mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah, it's it's it really is like you said. It's a you can bring the, the family there, and, and you can it's almost almost to hang out for the whole day. But you know, there's things for you to 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 do there for each member of the family yeah. to try out. You can hit shots. You can go into demo bays, personalization studio in yeah. Dallas. You can get a personalized golf ball or whatever it might be. Um, so there's there's something for everybody. Um, but I know there's we talk about the like the experience being unique. And the thing that I wanted to ask you about was well the the, the two putting greens yeah. that are in it, the one in Scottsdale and Dallas. Um, for those who don't know, they're you know, like you said almost depending on the store about 2,000 square feet, maybe a little less at Dallas. Um, but undulated yeah. kind of realistic lifelike putting green where and then you also add in putt view technology at dallas where you can you know see the, the slope and the break on a putt um i mean how how about the installation of that like how did that come about you know yeah. and, and the so process of that it's a it's a it's an incredible process um i think from a a retail location i think we are the only golf retail location in the country that has this type of surface um, they come in, they lay out the land, bring dirt in, mm -hmm. roll it, um, apply the surface and it, you know, walking on it and seeing it and feeling it, you know, if I didn't tell you that it was, a uh, not grass, yeah. I don't know if you would believe it. Like it's, it's an incredible look. It's an artificial surface that has every feature, a putting green outside would have. Uh, the undulation is real. You know, the underneath of that surface is, is dirt that gets rolled and rolled and rolled and creates this, this foundation that, you know, stays the same mm -hmm. for forever. And uh, the process is unique. It's involved. Um, but what it turns into is just this gorgeous, you know, yeah. piece that's, you know, really a centerpiece for both stores. Um, and then you brought up putt view. It's like, 
PuffView is a game changer when it comes to technology and when it comes to the experience side. You know, folks go in, they get on the putting green, like, wow, it's incredible. I can, you know, it really, one of our goals too as a company is we want every golfer to feel like they're using that golf club outside mm -hmm. when they're in our store location, right? Uh, from our hitting mats into the, the demo bays and, and our fitting bays and taking that over to the putting green. I think that was a huge step for us. Like, uh, it's very important when a, when a golfer is over a golf ball, they want to feel like they're, they're, they're on the golf course with it. And I think what, that's what we achieved with the putting green setup is you really feel like you're taking that club. So when you walk out the door, you know that it's going to perform the same on the golf course as it did in store. Mm -hmm. And adding the service, you know, whether it be a loft and lie check or a length check, um, that's really important to us as well. So, you know, walking out of that, that front door, we want every golfer to feel like they're ready to walk right on the golf course, yeah. no adjustment. Um, so that's the first part is making sure that we have that feel of the putting green that, hey, man, I, I really feel like I'm, I'm outside using this. And then putt view is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. I was, you know, not overly familiar with it. Um, prior to being introduced to it in Dallas, the company's phenomenal. Um, they came over, installed the projection system, which is really cool. Um, but essentially, you're, it, it shows you the undulation and breaks on the green, um, putting lines, putting stroke. Uh, there's games available on it, too. Um, there's just so many interactive things you could do with it, whether it be a, a miniature golf course that they can set up from a projection standpoint. Just endless things um, that allow you to, A, have fun, but B, you learn a lot too. Um, you learn a lot about your putting stroke. Uh, it helped me read greens a little bit better. You know, I, I've never been a strong green reader. Um, you know that. You've played with me. Um, <laughs> but, you know, seeing that helps, right? You know, showing you the break. and um, So there's a lot of things we could still do there as well. I mean, PuttView has some really cool technology that they are coming out with and, and have come out with. Um, that I think we're, we're, we're very interested in seeing and checking out. But it's been an amazing addition to yeah. both locations. Yeah, I think it's like it's wild. Like even when I first was introduced and went down to the Dallas store and was, you know, putting it's it the so for those who aren't completely aware of it, like there's more or less is a projector lighting and it, yeah, it's you know, two, it projects down from above two massive projectors onto the putting Correct. green. And it you know will show you the line on certain putts. Like if you you know, putt your ball and it'll if you track the line, obviously it drops in the hole. And actually, there's if you set it up the right way, there's it can tell you you know oh nice putt if you made the putt right. or you know try again or whatever it says if you yeah, miss it. You know I mean there's 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 a lot of a lot of things you can do with that system that um, <clears throat> not only can help you get better as a player but also. You know, we talked about that family experience. You can you can play some games on it and and really kind of spend, if you wanted to, a couple hours on it, just just messing around. Yeah. And um, it's been a great addition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, in addition to the new technology, the putting green, and, yeah. and there's you know the the high tech fitting bays, um, more of a I guess a staple of, of second swinging in the stores is just the abundance of clubs. Yeah. And so I wanted to like, just pick your brain on, cause right now the inventory is 120 yeah. something thousand clubs. Um, obviously we have the warehouse here mm -hmm. and we've got our store locations. So in building out, designing a store, you know, and, and allocating the resources where they need to be allocated, yeah. where, you know, the process of like, deciding where the clubs go, how many you can go, like how does that all work? Because again, that, that inventory number does change. You know, there's yep. times a year where more trades are taken in and things mm -hmm. like that. So how does that all work for, for you guys? It's a, a very involved process that um, we have a team uh, here and uh, at the stores that do an incredible job. I mean, we have a quote unquote capacity for each store mm -hmm. uh, that we know how many we can fit. But to your point, you know, it's in flux every day. You know, one of the things that Second Swing loves and promotes is trades. Mm -hmm. You know, we love taking in trades and uh, we have the highest trade in value in the industry and um, our golfers recognize that and, and they use us quite a bit for that. And it provides us with more inventory that we can either use on the website or at the store. So 
Um, but that being said, you know, we need to make sure that we have the right amount in each store. Um, and that's really going to come down to a lot of math and making sure our math is correct uh, and making sure that our, you know, our team here at the DC is a sending the right equipment too, right? We, we have to have a pulse on, you know, what people want. Um, I know throughout the year, there's certain clubs that get real hot. Some yeah. don't. Um, the cool part about our business and, and our company and what we do, uh, some of the equipment that got hot this year wasn't new equipment. Right. You know, it was equipment from five years ago, six yeah. years ago, whatever it may be. And there's a pretty good chance that we might have it. So, mm -hmm. you know, making sure we're on top of that. And, and we have we have a large team of, of people here um, that track it, make sure that the stores are getting what they need. Um, it's a very specific science uh, to making sure that the balance is there as well. Um, we don't want to over represent and under represent uh, when it goes brand to brand, right? Um, so it's a, it's a unique battle that we, we chat, we face every week, right? It's a, in season, we're moving, we're moving metal, right. you know what I mean? So um, from the store locations, DC, getting them out to the stores, trucks go out every week, um, certain weeks throughout the year, it's multiple trucks per week, making sure that the, the stores are getting what they need. And then really, and getting the feedback from our golfers too that, that come in, they're the ones driving what type of inventory that we have. You know, what 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 is their demand? What do they need? Um, you know, golf's changing a little bit. The the golfer is changing a little bit. You know, they're they're a little bit more athletic these days, mm -hmm. right? So, um, does our equipment reflect that? You know, and and we need to be on top of that. And I, I want to make it very clear, we listen to that, and we're trying to do our best to make sure that when when golfers come in our store, we have what they're looking for, not just from a brand standpoint, but from a makeup standpoint too, length, flex, all of that stuff. So there's a lot that goes into it. Um, you know, we're very fortunate here to have a, a team that loves golf one and they're passionate about it and they, they're customers too, right? Like, you know, they're in the same boat as everybody else that's walking into one yeah. of our stores. They want to make sure that they have the right equipment. We want to make sure all the folks that come in our locations have the right equipment. So there's a lot that goes into it. Um, but, you know, I think we do a pretty good job of, of getting the stores what they need. And uh, going forward, obviously, if, you know, we're open to recommendations for different types of clubs or different brands or whatever it may be, you know, we want to make sure that we have yeah what the folks are looking for. Right. I mean, it's that's the... I remember even I've been to the various stores. The only stores I haven't been to actually are, uh, is, is Wilmington. It's the one I haven't been to. Um, I don't know if there's a reason for that. I was going to say, what's the problem? <laughs> um, but I've, in interacting with customers at each of the stores, it's always, uh, there's always a wow factor, A, of especially in Scottsdale and, and Dallas, of like what the store looks like yeah. and how it's got that kind of modern, but also like a modern feel, but also there's, um, everything you need in there, and then just the sheer amount of golf clubs. Yeah, the one thing I, th I always, like, even when I walked into Wilmington, I'll never forget the first time I walked into Wilmington to interview yeah. uh, for the position. You know, the, the first thing you see is golf clubs. Yeah. And it's a lot of them. Yeah. And it's like, whoa. Um, to the point where it's, like, a tiny bit overwhelming in a good way, right? It's like sensory overload. And then when you start walking through the aisles, I think what's so cool about it is the way we present the equipment really feels like you're walking through aisles of new equipment. And then you, you, you walk up and you start looking at drivers. You're like, this is from 2011. Yeah. Like, wh what are we doing here? Right. <laughs> so it's really cool the way it's presented. Um, it's very organized. And, you know, that is who we are, though. You know, we are a, a golf club company mm -hmm. and we need to make sure that when customers walk in and golfers walk in, that's what they see. You know, yeah. it's it's great that we have state of the art fitting, you know, gorgeous tour vans that have all the, you know, the equipment of for that year and shaft options and um but at the end of the day, we want to make sure people are aware of we have golf clubs, new and used, and we have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for a club or, you know, you're not quite ready to go new and you're looking for different options and you know you we're brand agnostic right you know we we want to make sure that we re represent you know as much as we can and you know we just want to get you in the right thing mm -hmm. and if that's a 2023 driver or a 1998 driver 
I don't know who's buying those anymore. Well, we have them in the store. That's so. fair, right? And that's <laughs> that's the point, right? So, you know, whatever somebody wants, you know, get in there and look around. I mean, you'll be surprised. And mm -hmm. I think we have an advantage there. You know, there's a lot of golfers that are new to the game over the last call it, two, three years, right? Um, golf is not a cheap sport. No. We know that. And that doesn't mean you can't play. And, you know, if someone's a new golfer and they walk in one of our locations, A, you're going to get treated like anybody else that walks in that store. You can have a $300 budget, a $3,000 budget. It doesn't matter to us. We have options for you. And I think that's what makes our store fun, too, is you can go in and whatever budget you're looking at. I, I know watching some of our Instagram clips and um, TikTok stuff, you know, we have guys that come in and girls that come in and build their own bag for X mm -hmm. amount of money. I think that's really cool. Um, but you can do that. And, yeah. you know, you can walk out of that store not only feeling like the clubs are right for you, number one, but number two, you know, spend a ton of money. You yep. know, you can go out there, you can learn the game. When you get better, you can come back and trade those clubs back in and then upgrade, you know, so uh, we have a really, really fun system set up. Yeah, I think, you know, it, if you're the, if you're an avid golfer and you're trying to get super dialed with mm -hmm. everything in your bag, I mean, there's, there's nowhere, there's nowhere else you're going to find everything you need. Right. Um, mm -hmm. But then even, I mean, the casual golfer too, like there's, there's complete sets there's the selection for well, that's something like more or less beginners if you will even more so to the casual golfer right like yeah um yeah we have state-of-the-art fittings we have state-of-the-art technology from the fitting component um but man if you play you know i know a lot of we talk to a lot of folks that are getting out of college or whatever it may be um oh, all my friends are golfing i want to golf yeah all right um what do you want i have no idea Okay, so then you can take them down that journey and introduce them to all the options that they have. And um, it's really cool to, you know, it's almost like a sense of relief that you see on that, on that, that person knowing that, like, oh, man, I don't have to spend a million dollars here. Right. I can get something that's good, one, fits me, two, and three, I can walk out of here and, and not feel like I can, I feel mm -hmm. like I can still pay my bills next month. So it's a good feeling. <laughs> right. That's usually a good thing. Right. right? Usually. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So one of the things that kind of wanted to start wrapping with was, you know, we talked about all these features and everything that comes with the store experience, yeah. especially the, over the last couple of years, since you've kind of been involved with, you know, these in-store projects and stuff. So if you had to pick one, okay, like a store feature, doesn't yeah. that necessarily be something that's been added in the last couple of years, yeah. but your favorite, you know, technology or uh, I guess in-store feature from any of our stores that is now implemented that is part of the experience. Yeah, um, that's a great question. I think any any form of the technology I think is complemented by the service. Right, um, you can have all the technology in the world um, if you don't have the service behind it. Um, Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't make it as great, right? So um, the one thing I think that's always been the thing that stands out to people when they walk in, you can see it like from our Google review standpoint, um, service is one. And I think that's going to stand out above technology um, tenfold. But over the last two years, three years, I think, you know, what we've done in Dallas is is really cool. I just, you know, the the putting studio itself yeah. Uh, the way that displays um, the putting green, obviously, put putt view. Um, but if I had to pick one, I'm biased though. Yeah. Because the personalization area is, is one thing that was, was a little bit my baby. Mm -hmm. And um, the custom golf balls is just, I think, A, from a service standpoint, it's no one else is going to touch it. You're not going to go anywhere and get a personalized golf ball. Right away that day. In 12 minutes. Yeah. It's not going to happen. <laughs> and the fact that we can do that, um, and it pumps out 81 golf balls <laughs> in four minutes is just obnoxious, right? So it's like having that option there and, and having that service there um, is, is really unique. Like, you know, A, it's when people walk in there, not even on their mind. No. Right? Of, especially, well, the new customers for sure. Correct. Yeah. So, like, you know, they have no idea 
that that's something that we can do. And then when they see it, it looks like a spaceship, number one. <laughs> Things cool looking. And then, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, I'll get it. I'll get some golf balls personalized. And we go, okay, what do you want on it? And they're like, oh, well, just, just, just initials? And it's like, no, you can put literally anything yeah. you want. We've had people come in and put their face on it. Yeah. Um, you know, we've had whatever, weddings, bachelor parties, uh, corporate events, you name it. I mean, we could literally put any logo yeah. on there you want, and we can flip it for you in 15, 20 minutes. Like, that's a service that stands out above anybody else. Um, and it's something that, that matters, right? Like, you could take that home give it as a gift i mean would you want to give someone a dozen golf balls or would you want to give them a dozen golf balls that are personalized yeah right if the option's there you, you take the personalized side of it so i think that to me is really neat and i think there's elements to that um which are going to lead into more you know personalized options and kind of seeing where that's our first year with it you know that was a big time experiment to be quite honest with you you know we, we never were really in that game either yeah um Glad we got into it. I think it's something that adds a ton of value um, to going to the store. Um, it's not quite something we have on our website yet, right? So um, that's an in-store experience that I think is is worth going to see. And um, I think that would be my choice. Yeah, I think, I think it's, you know, it's a good one to see yeah. that. I've seen it in action and it's pretty, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty crazy. <laughs> that it's, 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 uh, it's, it's, it is actually, if you think about it, you know, you, order golf balls somewhere and you have to, I mean, really to, it's weeks to get personalized yeah. golf balls, you have to order them. I mean, that's kind of the way it goes. Um, except for if you're in the Dallas area and you, you want golf balls that afternoon that want, that have your face on them, or your Stop name and get or them, a logo man. or whatever. We'll slap it right on uh, the foot. Right. So, and then there's other things too that you can get personalized and there's, there's ball markers, there's, um, ball markers, there's, golf bags. Um, yep. you know, I think that's another thing too. Like if you want an embroidered golf bag, from a manufacturer, same thing. You're looking yeah. at weeks. Um, you know, we could flip that in 24, 48 hours at most. Um, you know, stamping with the ball marks, wedge stamping mm -hmm. um, is a popular thing. And, you know, we're pushing ourselves too, kind of in the wedge stamping game, I think. You know, it's, we're talking about us. It just completely made me forget about the build shop we have there too. The build shop at, well, I, Certainly at all the stores, but especially down in Dallas and in Scottsdale. They're stores. legit, right? Yeah. And it, it, it presents as a legit build shop. Um, and the service in all of our build shops is top notch. But like the presentation in Dallas and Scottsdale, it's, you walk past that thing, you're like, man, that's cool. And um, the bright all, neon sign up there. Neon you know. sign, the see through glass. You can see, you know, you can watch your clubs get bent. You can watch them get extended, re gripped. Um, we do the wedge stamping in there. and. You know, it's just one of those things I think as again, you know, you could be an avid golfer, you can be a casual golfer. Seeing stuff like that's cool. I don't care who you are, right? Yeah. Like um, if I'm going in and I'm getting fit, you know, I go in, I go through this great fitting process with one of our fitters and they're like, okay, well, we're going to bend these for you right now. And you're like, all right, cool. You know, for me, I was like, well, what's that look like? And right. then, you know, um, you get to watch it in person and you come in, you know, going to play golf at two o'clock. If you're like me, you show up at the store at 145, you need golf balls and a grip. Right. And you come in and like, yeah, we'll, we'll pop it on for you right there and you get to watch it. And, you know, I think all of that, we, we continue, I, you know, I continue to talk about experience stuff. Like that's so important to us is to, to feel that, see it. Um, and just know that like, A, the work's getting done the right way. And, also, too, like you can learn too. I, you know, I, again, from a from a bending standpoint, a lot of folks don't know even what that means, and to, yeah. to see it in action and kind of explain it to the customer and golfer and say, hey, you know, we need to change that from seventy to seventy one. This is what we're doing. You know, to see that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's the education piece behind it as well. That you know, our our service team um, in the stores will will provide, but. Um, it's been awesome. Even I've been with the company now since I guess it's not, we're coming up on five years now, and to see that change, that transformation from kind of I mean we were probably joined the company at roughly the same time mm -hmm. you're in Wilmington. I was here. You know we added the uh, Columbia store. Mm -hmm. We uh, transformed. Actually, Minnetonka was was um, renovated, yep. and then we went and added the new Scottsdale store, and now the Dallas store. And to see those things 
improving, I mean, it's a complete transformation of what it feels like in the store and what you get as a customer. So um, it's, it's fantastic, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, you know, folks that listen to this and have been to our Minneapolis store, right? And oh yeah. Kind of, kind of feeling that <laughs> yeah. and kind of seeing, there's something so like unique about that store and, and so beautiful about that store because it's, you know, you walk into it and you're like, man, like, hey, at first, same thing though, right? Like that, that theme is still there. Mm -hmm. If you walk into Minneapolis, golf clubs, like that's all <laughs> yeah. you see, right? Is golf clubs and they, they might be stuck in, you know, boxes and, and rocket launchers, we call them. And just, you know, it's just a, a little bit different feel and look yeah. uh, from walking into that Dallas and Scottsdale. But, you know, I, that's what I love, I think, so much about what we do and what our brand is, is we stay true to who we are. And the store could be 9,000 square feet. It could be 30,000 square feet. Um, we want you to feel the same way when you walk in. Um, this is a place that loves golf. They know golf. I'm going to walk out of here knowing that I have the right thing mm -hmm. and I have a lot of options. And, um, but it's different, it's different looking, you know, you walk into <laughs> Minneapolis, you walk into Scottsdale, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's different looking, but, um, the theme is still there. And I think that's the challenge too. Like going from a store like Minneapolis that is very small and, you know, quite frankly, a little bit older looking, mm -hmm. um, then you get this big white box that you get to play with and you're like, man, like this is going to be a lot different looking, yeah. but what are we good at? You know, we're good at golf equipment. Mm -hmm. We're good at fitting and we're good at experience. So how do we incorporate those three values um, on a grander scale and still feel like you're walking into a second swing? Yeah. So it's, it's a fun challenge. Um, we're excited for the next challenge, whatever that yeah. may be. And um, I think the cool part is if, if we do end up in a location near you, if you're listening, yeah. like, you're gonna have that same experience. You know, the stuff that we're talking about in Scottsdale and Dallas, you will feel that yeah. and see it. Definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, there's probably a lot of people watching or listening that might be within driving distance of a store, but yep. they maybe have opted to not drive or maybe shop online or maybe they're going to elsewhere. Yeah. Um, but there's, that experience is, it's unique. So it's um, we, I guess we'll leave it there. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's that's a, a nutshell of what the Second Swing Store, store experience is. Um, it's uh, been cool to see that transformation. And obviously, Matt, you've been a part of that. So. Yeah. Um, thank you for joining and t discussing that. If there's any questions, by the way, you know, reach out to our, you know, yeah. send direct messages, send us emails, whatever it might be, and we'll answer those. But um, otherwise, we'd be very happy to see you listeners and viewers in the store yeah. um, getting to experience these things for yourself. So, And um, also, too, like, for the folks that do go, you know, feedback is what got us to yeah, that's true. Dallas, right? Yeah. Um, our golfer feedback you know we get it every week we send mm -hmm. out surveys every week um, a lot of our design is based around golf right. recommendations right so it's a it's a golf place yeah and we want golfers to enjoy that place so uh, feedback away right mm -hmm. like send it in and you know we'll listen your and idea could be in the the next store or the next or the, maybe a, an update in the current store you know that's, that's could be a big deal could be so uh, make sure you do that submit us the feedback um, go t go check out the store tell us what you think and um, I guess we'll catch you next time on the second Swing Talks podcast thank you again Matt, thank you for joining appreciate it